uh, a relaxation rest uh, practice, which is a kind of a cross between a meditation and a, a guided relaxation. And uh, if you're doing it lying down, you know, there is definitely more of a chance of falling asleep. And maybe that's okay. And you could always actually set an alarm or um, use it as a, a sleep practice before sleep. Um, and if you're upright, you have more chance of being uh, conscious of the things that come up, more aware. So that might be the first choice. Like, do I do this as a practice purely to relax? Uh, or also a practice uh, where I'm going to uh, bring awareness to how easy or difficult it is for me to, to stop doing, to relax. Uh, maybe if there's um, um, tension in the body, emotional, physical, uh, difficulty that can be uh, interesting to learn to relax with that. So we can bring all sorts of intentions to this practice. And so have a moment to reflect on, on that as you make your choices, because it might bring in a particular focus. You might every now and again open your eyes if you uh, choose to to focus on a, a conscious awareness of what's happening, and what you're doing with your body and your mind. Or to get more cozy and warm if you're going for the, the relaxation one, having your eyes closed, etc. And then beginning to settle in your chosen posture. Next few out breaths, feeling the encouragement to relax in the body as you exhale, which might be around your shoulders. The shoulders tend to relax downward a little as you breathe out. If you feel tension there and not a lot of movement, you can have a little shoulder wriggle. And you shift your arms, encouraging the arms and the hands to be resting heavily on your lap or the floor. And you do a gentle sighing out breath. Encourage your shoulders to relax and in return as your shoulders relax. You can encourage your body and mind to relax. You might sense something similar around your collarbones and your breastbone. A releasing and a dropping as you exhale. Bring your awareness down to your belly. Noticing how the belly can soften, especially on the in breath.
And it drops back and let's go on the out breath. Bring your awareness to your hands resting. Nothing to do. Your awareness to your feet. Notice how your feet are resting. There's nothing to do. What do you need to be? Be quiet. What nature is, and as Mary Oliver says, on winter's margin, the wood becomes silent. Everything still. The last leaves on the trees are letting go. The webs are frozen. Outwardly still, inwardly warm and alive. Feeling the quiet aliveness in the body, the slow breath, relaxing heartbeat. If there's activation in the body, it's hard to feel a sense of internal relaxation with the breath and the heart. See if it helps to slow your exhale down. And keep noticing the signs of relaxation around the shoulders and the chest, the belly. Encouraging your feet and hands to rest.
thoughts come flocking in. Imagine you can breathe them out like a little cloud of cold air. When you breathe in the cold outside weather, you get those little clouds coming out of your mouth and nose as you breathe. Imagine you can very gently breathe those thoughts out. Breathing out any plans of doing any compulsion to get busy. Exhaling on like little white fluffy clouds. Breathe out. Imagine the whole of your skin relaxing. Imagine any, any way that you're still holding yourself, slowing down. Warm water running over the body in the shower. Imagine the whole of your skin letting go towards the ground. And your body settling even more inside that skin. Feeling like a warm blanket. Body settling inside. Or anywhere else in the body that could relax a little more. Gravity can assist. Anywhere where you can be a little heavier.
you relax. Taking in the imagery of this Mary Oliver poem, which can perhaps deepen the relaxation even more. In winter, all the singing is in the tops of the trees, where the wind bird with its white eyes shoves and pushes among the branches like any of us. Like any of us, he wants to go to sleep, but he's restless. He has an idea, and slowly it unfolds from under his beating wings as long as he stays awake. But his big, round music, after all, is too breathy to last. So? It's over. In the pine crown, he makes his nest. He's done all he can. I don't know the name of this bird. I can only imagine his glittering beak tucked in a white wing while the clouds, which he has summoned from the north, which he has taught to be mild and silent, thicken and begin to fall into the world below like stars or the feathers of some unimaginable bird that loves us, that is asleep now and silent, that has turned itself into snow. Fully returning your attention to somewhere warm in the body, somewhere that feels alive. The breath, the warmth, warmth of your hands. And perhaps deepening your breath a little bit. Maybe opening your eyes slightly and becoming aware of the space and the light around you. The sounds around you. Signs of life inside you and around you. Just how it might be to re-engage with worldly activities. And taking some slowness with you, some gentleness. Taking more time to come out of this period of rest if it feels necessary to go slowly. Maybe the rest has revitalized you to, to jump up and do the next thing. 
and coming back however suits you maybe some movement again taking anything useful from the practice with you into your